What's up, people? Right. I get a lot of questions about my bender. What bender do I use and all this kind of stuff. What dies, what radius is and all this. So I'll find a quick video on the bender. This is a JD Square Model 32. The easiest way to distinguish the 32 over the, the normal 30 is this, it's got two. Now you've got your one for your bending and this is for your backlash. The normal bender's only got the one of these and it is worth your while getting 32 with the two. Because otherwise, when you are, tell you what, I'll show you. So we just took a bit of tubing, a bit of 45 mil, uh, 2.65 mil wall. Just chuck it in there. And we're going to just, oh yes, I have. Lock that up. The degree ring on here, normally you'll have it there. Watch, I'll show you. See degree ring, yeah? Normally you have your zero here and your pointer sticking out. But what I've done is I've been quite tricky is when you are on your own, you need it there, yeah? So you can see when you're pulling it round, yeah? So that's the main, the easiest way I find of using it, because when you're on your own, you can't, you can't look down here when you're pulling over there. All right, so anyway, let's show you this. Hook you back in. Right then. So that's in tight. So we're loaded. That's on zero. So with a normal one, I use a cheetah bar as well. <coughs> when I'm on the 45 mil, because it's a lot to bend. So with a normal one, you have to bend, reset. Yeah, you have to get it in there and then bend again. Yeah. But with the 32, you drop that in, it stops this springing back. Otherwise, it springs back. Yeah. So the 32 is better just because it holds. Yeah. This just helps to get rid of the spree backlash. And then, to go again, pull your pin out, stop it around, and go again. But I've only got a small bit of stock in there, so. Yeah. That's the best thing, having the two. So now let's talk about what I think about the bender. Um, when you buy a set of dies, they come preset, but they're not very set. On the bottom of here, there's a dowel for the height. You'd have to adjust that yourself. And also, let me just get you out of here again. Right, so let's talk mods. I jack it up under there just to get this level so you can square up your die. 
So oh. ideally you want your die to be as flat as you can. So you know that zero is zero. Yeah. Um, I modified this nut a little bit because when we had it, it was convex in the middle or concaved, it was dipped in and the edges was damaging the tube. So we did that. But this is, this is all minor stuff. The bender itself, I mean, that's 2.65 mil wall that is. And it was, it's pretty relatively easy to bend. But it hasn't disformed, it hasn't squashed the tube. It's perfect. The dies work really well. I've got, this is a 45, but I think it's, it's a 1.75, which is like 44.5. Yeah, and a 5.5 .5 center line radius. I've got a one inch and a 38 for it. Well, yeah, for a bender, you have to do some, like I have to put this spacer in here. This has got a little bit of flex in it, which could do with shimming up maybe. But yeah, that's what this is, JD Square 30, 32. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. It works really well. Really does work well. Now, what I'd like to do is go hydraulic. If you can, go hydraulic. These benders all come set for it, because that's what this hole's for. You get an adapter, which changes this shaft and there, and the ram sticks out here. Now, I've looked, and the cylinders are about 350 pounds, but their own hydraulic pump is nearly a 1,000 pounds which is a lot of money for an hydraulic pump. They also do an air over hydraulic, which I've looked up online on YouTube and that, and for about 300 quid, 350, I think, somewhere around between three and 400 pounds, it's not that bad. It, it's, it gets the job done. Or you can use, do you know these quick lift jacks for cars? The hydraulic quick lift jacks. You could use the pump off one of them. It does the same job. The only reason I would say I'd go hydraulic is when you're bending with the lever, you're trying to get this to the nth degree, yeah? It's tricky, where if you've got a button or a pedal and you can increment it degree by degree and you can do it on your own, just standing there going, duh, 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 duh. you can get the bends the same every time. So hydraulic, if you get the extra dough, Get a 32 with hydraulic or get yourself a 32, try a bit. If you're in the States, that's even better because you can buy air over hydraulic rams. They're a bit slow and they do sound pretty loud, but you can get them from anywhere. But in, in the UK here, yeah, they just don't seem to, they just don't seem to come around. Like Harbour Freight sell them over there. We don't have them over here at B&Q. Don't sell them. So, yeah. Another thing I do is I oil. Like this. It's oiled. So WD-40 on there and this. Just helps you... Just helps it slide around the tube with that gall in it. So you don't want to damage them. Yeah. So there you go. There's my JD Squared 32. Really good bit of kit. Highly recommend it. And um, another thing I did is I built a little stand for it just to raise it up because otherwise it has to be hanging over the edge because of this. So I just built that. But yeah, recommend it. Really good. JD squared, 32. Good for the 32. It's only a little bit more money. But with the dual things, I don't know what they're called, it just helps with the spring back. Right, there you go. First little product review. Well, I think I did one ages ago on my steel slitter thing. But yeah, thanks. Uh, give this video a quick like if you don't mind. And uh, see you in the next one.